guys. So I've got a bit of time on my own while Dan is out. I love the peace and quiet and I thought I might as well make it even better with one of my gins from my advent calendar. I've gone with the Edgerton Blue Spice Gin and I have to say I think it's really really nice. There might be something wrong with my taste buds, but it doesn't taste like chilli. To me it tastes like ginger. Uh, not a massive fan of ginger, but it's not really strong. It's nice and subtle. So I am enjoying it. And it looks very pretty as well. How beautiful is that? Love it. So I have also saved down a little bit. So you can try that when he gets in. Um, maybe he will tell you what he thinks as well, but yeah, I'd, I'd have that again, it's lovely. Vicky, while I've been out playing football, has videoed herself for the first time, I think, um, trying her Edgerton Blue Spice Gin, she saved me a little bit, so got a little bit left to try. Ooh. She's right, it has got quite a quite a ginger tint and I love rum and ginger ale so this is very nice and it'll finish a night off where we got beat but scored a couple of goals so I'm going to enjoy this, watch a little bit of telly then go to bed and we will see you tomorrow uh, for the true beginning um, day 6 of the Christmas advent calendar vlog Cheers! Right guys, 6th of December, me and Vicky finished work for the week, we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, so we're set, Vicky in a dressing gown, me, pizza pyjamas, right, got it, um, so chocolate went first thing, let's have a look where the 6th is. There we go, sixth, nice and easy on here. So it's gonna be a bottle and it is Wild Beer Company Sleeping Lemons. Wild Beer Company down in Somerset push the boundaries of beer like no other brewery. A beer with mushrooms perhaps, or one made with sourdough yeast. Or sleeping lemons, a tart ghost beer with preserved lemons. Utterly delicious. Let's have a look at the bottle. Ooh, nice bit of artwork again. The Wild Beer Company, sleeping lemons, preserved lemons and salt. Refreshing. Drink wildly different. So this is one that I have never ever had. 3.6% so a nice steady beer one that I will enjoy tonight Vicky already opened up what have you got? Sipsmith Sipsmith that's one I've heard of uh, Slow Gin which I'm very happy about do love a Slow Gin yeah Slow Gin is very nice and since this is the start of a new video I can tell you some gin information oh yeah gin information <laughs> Forgot about that. Let's have a look what we're going for. What are botanicals and why are they in gin? So botanicals are simply part of plants added during the gin making process to enhance the flavour. Gin makers use the berries, roots, peel, seeds, bark, flowers and leaves of different plants to produce their gin's unique flavour. Some gins use more than 20 botanicals. There you go. So that's what botanicals are. Nice. Uh, there's going to be more gym information than videos, so are you going to give us some more gym information over the weekend? Yeah. There we go, look forward to that. Once again, the Wild Bay Company. Sleeping lemons. I really do like the stag on the bottle. What's up? 
That's odd. Preserved lemons and salt. I'll try them. That's an odd one, guys. Served a bit cold. No, no, it's not cold. So it comes across as one of those that if it was ice cold, it'd be really refreshing in summer. You know, a bit like that carling with rum. Oh, uh, yeah. Or Fos still... Foster's we run. Do they still make that? In the comments down below. Do you know if Foster's or I think it was Foster's? Foster. Foster's, do they still make it with rum? Because they were really nice, and this is very similar to that, but doesn't quite hit the spot like the Fosters does. What do you think? It's too salty. Too salty. And I've got to agree, it is very salty. But it'll do. do. And Vicky is trying one of Virgin's, what she opened in the last video. If you want to see that video, it is linked above. And this one is. Boodles gin. If you can see that tiny little bottle from so far away. <laughs> Boodles gin. And what's it like, Vic? Um. Have you tried it? Yeah. It's just a plain gin. I'm not a massive fan of just the plain ones. I uh, prefer it when they've got added flavours, but it is very nice, very strong, and because it Fruit. is a plain one, I've gone with the elderflower tonic. <laughs> I prefer Vicky's drink today, but the gin is Vicky's, the beer is mine, here's the start of the second video in the series, cheers Vic, thanks for watching, see you tomorrow. Hi hey guys, 7th of December. This is 7th, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 7th of December. It is 10.37. So I have not opened my Milky Bar chocolate. Today we have got a little house. There you go. That's quite nice. Sad day today, Vic, isn't it? So, dressed in a suit, unfortunately, Vicky's granddad passed away, 93 year old, so good innings. So we're go going to his funeral, um, but let's open beer number seven. It's on the side again, so it's another bottle. Ooh, it's a weird shaped bottle. Santa Punch. There we go. Uh, IPA, Patagonia, let's have a look, see what it says on the back of the door. Italy may not seem the most likely place for a beer going craft beer scene. Ooh, steady. But it is home to some of the world's best breweries. Birra del Borgo, founded in 2005, was one of the early Italian pioneers and excelling in unusual and interesting beers. So, an Italian IPA, something new. So this will go in the fridge, save it for later, and we'll have a drink for Victor. Yeah, so we'll have a drink for Victor later. And Vicky is just about to open her gin. London Dry Gin. Oh. With that on a go? There we go. I've also been asked to uh, to do a shout out for one of my subscribers, Kai. It's his birthday today. 
So along with drinking for Victor, we'll have a drink for your birthday as well, pal. Happy birthday. So today is over and done with Santa Punch. Didn't say earlier, but this is 7.2%. So that's quite a good percentage for an IPA. Smells quite nice. Here we go. This is Victor and happy birthday, Kai. Ooh, that is very nice. A little bit of uh, bit of citrus in there as well. I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, also, tomorrow, me and Vicky are very, very busy, um, so it's going to be a little bit of a treat. We're doing two days in one, so let's open the eighth. It's from the top, so it's going to be a can. Ugh, can't get it. There we go. And the can is here. Oh, lovely bit of artwork again on the can. All caps, American Pilsner. So it's a Pilsner. 4.5% so that one is going to quickly go into the fridge to cool down while I drink that and Vicky is going to try it Thoughts? Leaving the Milky Bar chocolate for tomorrow. Um, so what gin did you get earlier? Can you remember? Beef eater. Beef eater for the 7th. Let's have a look what she gets for the 8th. And are you having one tonight? Maybe. But that'll be from an earlier, an earlier date. I think the 5th maybe. We'll have a look. Got. Brecon, Brecon. Yeah, Brecon Botanicals. From the four corners of the world. That's good because you told us about botanicals yesterday. Didn't you? Did I forget? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of tidying up, um, have a drink, chill out today. I'm at football tomorrow. I will link that video into this vlog because it's not your normal Doncaster Rovers match day vlog, we're going somewhere else. Vicky, on the other hand, Christmas party, aren't you? Just yeah. But work's Christmas party, so we're doing our own thing, so we can't video the vlog tomorrow, which is why it's all in one day. Happy day. So Vicky's poured her gin. This was from the 5th of December. Yeah, last one in the Last JJ episode? Whitley. Yeah, JJ Whitley. Whitley. You try it. Oh, you try it first. Mm, that's really nice. I have got Mediterranean tonic mm. with it. Um, the thing that I find with the clear gins is that I can't really see any difference between any of the flavours. There might be one in there that does surprise me, but at the minute I'm a novice when it comes to gin, so a clear gin just tastes the same as another clear gin to me. So the key is in the tonics? Yeah. Do you, like your elderflower tonic, Mediterranean tonic, because I think that tastes very different to the elderflower, the elderflower one. So if you are new to gin, make sure your tonics are alright. <laughs> We may have another, well, we will have another drink because I've got my uh, 8th of December can to have. And I you... will be having another one because it's the slow gin. And oh, I love a slow gin, so I know that I'm really, really going to enjoy it. So we're going to have these drinks, have a little tidy up, and then settle in for the night with 
another drink, which you guys will see. And hopefully, hopefully it's like a Christmas night or something. That'd be nice. Yeah, I hope so. There we go. See you in a bit. So, settling in for the night. Mondo Brewing Company. All caps. American Pilsner. Let's give her a try. The Santa Punch. Was it called Santa Punch? I think it was called Santa Punch. It was very, very nice. I enjoyed that and I would have it again. Oh! 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 Oh no! Be right. This is a frothy beer. Either that or I've just shook it up. Nope, still going up. Keeping on going. That's alright, nothing too special. It's okay. I'll try it. Also has Sip Smith Slow Gin, which you got. Is it gonna focus? Yeah, there. Uh, you got on the start of this what? Six? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that, that sounded difficult. <laughs> Looks lovely. Love it. I've just got a plain tonic with it as well. So, Vicky really likes slow gin. So does 18 Dapper. Flavour gins, I like it. Flavour gins, because you can just have a normal tonic with it. You don't have to know your gins too well to know which tonic goes best with it. That Mediterranean went with the one earlier. Mm. That was really nice. But you never know if, if you'd have put the elderflower one with it, it might have tasted totally different. So that's the thing with gins. I like the sips. Sipsmith? Yeah, Sipsmith. Sip Slow gin. I'd buy Beautiful. the uh, original sized one of that. Yeah, the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. There we go. The winner so far. <laughs> So, we're going to watch a movie now, chill out, and we will see you on Sunday the night. Yeah, right, guys, it is 7.37 on the 9th of December. We've had a very busy day, haven't we? Very busy day. We started the day off with a 10K run, and we got these medals. The Great Sprout Scuttle. 2018, so that's Curly's Athletes. We did that um, at a local stately hall, yeah, Rosington Hall. Very muddy, weren't it? Very muddy, very difficult run. It was all a, 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 tra a trail run, and we did it in 117, I think. One hour 17. Yeah. Uh, I'm not happy with that. Ten. I'm not happy with 117. Are you happy with 117? Really? Not really, but it like, it got to points where it was so muddy. You literally you're walking. you couldn't run for yeah. the fact that you just end up sliding and you'd be covered in mud. I did my groin in. There were so many people I because I saw you do your groin in, <laughs> and his little legs were like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, stood stood on a bit on my right foot. <laughs> my right leg just gave way. I was doing the splits. Luckily, didn't go all the way down, but pulled the groin a little bit. But, a bit more training, 10k, I will do that sub one hour. And, I've got good stamina compared to him. I ran the entire distance, he stopped and walked. 
So Vicky could catch up. No. Could <laughs> you... On to opening the advent calendar. 9th of December, we're on the side again, so this means that it's going to be in a bottle. Yeah. And the bottle is... Optimator. Spartan Optimator. Uh, this is Doppelbock, so it's from Germany and it's 7.6% decent on the back of today's advent calendar door. Spartan Optimator, a Bock is a strong German lager. This is a Doppelbock, which is an even stronger and maltier German lager. Lager simply means to cold store Optimator from the Munich brewery Spartan shows how diverse the lager family is. So, heavy lager. Let's go and get a bottle opener. Vicky, are you opening your gin? Coming in. This looks amazing. Williams GB, Great British Extra Dry Gin. And the bottle, the colour, I like. Can you see it? Or is it, is it something just on in the bottle and the gin is clear? Mm, maybe. The gin looks clear, but the bottle is very fancy. So. I'm going to try the Optimator now. Ooh, that's heavy. She ain't going to like this one. I know that for a fact. Oh, hello. Nice, isn't it? Oh, it's strong. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this one. You can tell that it is strong, like say 7.6%. But to me, <laughs> she had two sips and she's tipsy. Um, it's, oh, it's like one of them where it kind of boof headache. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this one. Um, we've also had a very busy day because it's been my nephew's birthday, so we've taken him out for a couple of treats, haven't we? Gone shopping, bowling, I won, you won. Sort it out, thanks. Um, treated him to dinner, some new trainers and stuff, so he's happy, isn't he? Dan's wallet and bank account. Aren't we? No, we, we took a hit, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have kids. That's the moral of the story. Um, you having a gin tonight? I might make one up. I'll taste it, but Dan will probably be the one to drink it. Happy days. <laughs> Taste the elderflower in the tonic. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. That's refreshing. So, like we said, generic dry gin, but the tonic does make a difference. So we're going to settle in now and watch Dynasties. We look forward to this on a Sunday, don't we? Tigers today. Yes, oh, I can't wait. So we will see you tomorrow. Right, guys, 10th of December. We're getting close to Christmas now. It's from the top, so it's going to be a can. Ooh. What have we got? Let's find out. We have got one that I have never had. Roosters, 24-7 session IPA. And how much? What percentage? 4.7%, just there. So not bad for an IPA. And then on the back of the door, IPA stands for Indian Pale Ale. It was originally brewed to be stronger and hoppier than pale ale, and perfect for cellaring, or the long journey by ship to India. 
Today, the American IPA is a craft beer's most popular drink. There you go, a bit of information for you. I'm in Milky Bar chocolates this morning. Very nice. Vicky is just opening up a candle. What we got? Um, so the first four days I opened, I showed you what I had, and since then it's just been following the same sequence with the same scents. There we go. So I've got three. And one over there, that's still got some hours left to burn. Opening your gin. Yep. Very tired today, aren't you? So, I think you'll be saving this one. Or are you having it? Not in a drinking mood. There we go, she's saving it. Oh, it's the white one again. Oh, elderflower gin. I will like this one. Ooh, so it looked like just a clear gin, but it's not. It's got elderflower. Happy. Happy. There we go. Just pop you back on here. So, 24 7. Let's give her a try. That is very nice. Reminds me of Brewdog. No, not Brewdog. Yes, Brewdog. Do you want to try it? Tastes very similar to Brewdog, so I'll enjoy that because I sometimes get the uh, the 12 pack of Brewdog cans. They're very nice. That was my belly. I don't know if the camera <laughs> caught that. My belly just made a right noise. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> and on that note, this is the end of this vlog. Are you having a gin? No. So yes, this is the end of second vlog in the series no third vlog in the series because there was the intro there was the unboxing so if you're enjoying it so far big thumbs up for us please subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching thank you for joining us on this journey who are getting in or what it's your channel <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow <laughs>